Kenya's food security situation has been deteriorating over the last six months due to the failure of the short rain season that ran from March to May every year. As a result, the country holds 8.8 .8 million bags of maize or less than three months' supply of maize. In order to avert a spike in maize prices, the government has signed a memorandum of understanding with the government of Tanzania to import over 200,000 metric tons of maize from Tanzania. The prices of maize flour will come down. We are confident of that because always the price of maize flour is dictated to by the price of the raw material. According to Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Felix Kosgei, the maize importation exercise will initially be undertaken by local millers with each bag of maize expected to retail at a maximum of 2,950 shillings inclusive of transport costs. But the government has assured farmers that they will not be disadvantaged in the process. Whatever we have uh, negotiated and agreed will be delivered by mid-August so that it does not coincide with our harvest from South Rift, which begins in August. You don't have to keep importing. Yeah. If you, you think that you are now home and dry, we can terminate the MOU as soon as possible, yeah. so that we don't affect the local producers, or, I mean your own farmers. Meanwhile, wheat production in Narok County is expected to dip by 40% owing to the failure of the short rains. According to Narok County's Chief Crop Officer Christopher Nkuku, wheat farmers are expected to harvest 9 bags of maize per acre, down from the expected 13 bags per acre. Narok is Kenya's undisputed wheat basket, producing half of the national wheat output in any given year. Henry Gadaiga, Citizen Live at 9.